So how you doing? Hey, uh, today I'm working on the firewood pile here. Uh, we're moving. Well, the firewood has to move with us, you know what I mean? So I'm working on the firewood pile. Uh, I'm basically just throwing everything in the trailer, even the cookies and everything. I'll take care of it all out there just because I need to get this place cleaned up in a hurry. You know what I mean? I don't want to sit here all day and babysit a little fire and burn up cookies and everything. So I'm just throwing everything on the trailer. Now, I have two saws here I'm going to run to. Uh, I got Bodie's Super XL Auto and Smiley's Super XL Auto. I'm going to be running them both. Um, they're both neat and broke in. Uh, so I'm just basically going to, you know, cut the occasional piece in half or whatever and, you know, throw it on the trailer. But uh, I can tell you that the chains on these saws are not the greatest. Uh, whenever I was doing the first heat run or heat cycle, I should say, the uh, I had a tendency to let the bar touch the ground. Uh, you know, they're sitting there dancing and every once in a while that bar would touch the ground. So I can pretty much guarantee you neither of these chains are going to be perfect. But I'm going to run them anyway. Now, Smiley saw, the chain's a little loose, which is probably going to screw with it. Uh, if you're not familiar with how loose chains cut, um, basically, when you get into the, the wood, it'll pull the tooth a little and cause the raker to pull a little higher, uh, basically making it you know a little harder to cut. So it'll kind of give you like a doll chain kind of feel to it if it's too loose and this is probably in that too loose stage but we're gonna run it anyway i'm not making a whole lot of cuts here so you know i'm just grabbing the big one the real big ones and cutting them in half to load them up on the trailer and then when the trailer's full we're gonna go with it so that's what we're doing here today and hope you like it <laughs>
So the saw shut off like it was running out of fuel. Looks like she's leaking at the uh, diaphragm there. I didn't do any work to the carburetor. All I did was the saw. So looks like I'm gonna have to tear into the carburetor. Um, she burnt through that whole tank of fuel just in a few cuts. So I imagine it was probably spewing fuel out of there pretty bad. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to tear into the carburetor and take care of that. But so far, so good.
right, so there you go. Uh, little carb issue on Bodie's saw. We'll have to straighten out. No big deal. Uh, seems to be running perfectly fine now. Other than that, uh, she ended up burning through that whole tank of fuel in that little bit of time. And it was, it was just spewing out that carburetor. So, yeah, that'll definitely need fixed. Uh, I was actually surprised it was running. Didn't show signs of an air leak or nothing because of, of how bad it was leaking. So, you know, that was, that's surprising. But uh, Smiley saw, uh, she uh, she was showing signs that, uh, a little bit of a sign that's starting wanting to break in. Uh, whenever I ran it today, the uh, I noticed it on idle more than anything. It was It was a little bit richer than the last time. Like the tune was just a little bit different than last time. So definitely got some ring seating starting to happen on it. So, you know, we're gonna keep working at it. Uh, I probably got, what, two more loads here to get out of here until all this wood's gone. So, you know, that's what we're gonna be working on. But uh, let me show you the load here real quick and then we'll, uh, we'll be headed out with this load of wood. Well, there she is, another load of wood. Uh, this is one of the things that makes firewood a pain in the butt. This is what turns you away from it. Uh, when you got to haul your own wood, you're handling it more times. Like me, I went and cut this stuff. I brought it here. I unloaded it. I played with it here a little bit, testing saws and stuff. But now I have to reload it, haul it out to another location, and unload it. And that's before I even get into the splitting and the stacking and all that stuff. And it's one of those things that makes firewood life really suck. Uh, it's actually one of the reasons I prefer getting wood by the triaxle load. Uh, I basically eliminate the whole hauling side of it. Uh, you know, it just basically shows up on the property, dropped off, and, you know, you go to town. All that hauling stuff is gone. Now, of course, it does cost a little. Um, I mean, around here, it's usually about $100 a cord. Uh, maybe just a little bit more than that to get a triaxle load delivered. Now, at $100 a cord, you got to think, you know, is it worth it for me to go out and do all the hauling myself or just let somebody else do it? And to me personally, I'd rather just let somebody else do the hauling. So that's why I prefer to do things by the triaxle load. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm really excited about moving to where we're moving. And that's because I could not get triaxle loads here. Just not enough room. But where we're headed, there's plenty of room. So you're going to get to see some of that coming in here in the future. But I still got a couple loads of firewood here. Uh, I still got my splitter sitting here. She hasn't been fired up in a while. I got to get it hauled out. Camper's already going. I got this mess to clean up yet. But this is where I'm at right now in the move is working on cleaning up this mess. So, yeah. Now the inside of the house is pretty well cleaned out. Uh, I didn't do the shop yet. That's probably the next major move, but I need to make room at the new shop to put all this shop stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at there. Um, pretty much whatever we have in the house right now is gonna stay there until the last stages of the move. So right now we are getting this firewood pile cleaned up. I got two swing sets in there to get moved, the log splitter, and uh, I still got a lot of painting to do. A little bit of carpet work to do in there and uh you know we're getting there probably another month or so until we're on the last stages so uh it'll be a little bit yet but we're getting there one day at a time already so hey we'll catch you on the next one later